Dramatic new surveillance video tonight captures the moment a driver slams into a parked UPS truck, then careens into oncoming traffic, killing two people in Jefferson Park. Police say that driver then tried to run from the grisly scene, but was chased down by witnesses. KTLA Samantha Cortese live in Jefferson Park, where the two victims are being remembered tonight. Sam? Sandra and Micah, friends and family, are lighting candles at the scene of the crash here in Jefferson Park, where there's still glass in the street from this violent crash you're about to see. Here's a look at the candles that are being lit tonight by young members of the families of the two victims. And when you see the surveillance video, I'm sure you'll have the same reaction we all did in the newsroom when we saw this violent impact. But especially interesting, the interview we are about to show you with a man who got that driver who tried to run from the scene until police were able to arrest him. I said, hey man, where you going, dude? You just killed some people, you know, and he just chill, chill. I'm like, hey man, you just killed that girl, you know? It was like, what girl? You know, he just was completely out of it. And I was like, man, how could you be running away right now? Carmichael Gilmet said he was cooking for him and his wife when I heard a loud boom sound like a grenade, like a really loud explosion. The driver of a BMW crashed into a UPS truck on Arlington and 29th in Jefferson Park around noon Wednesday. The crash was loud and fast. Carmichael walked out to a gruesome scene and a driver getting out of the BMW. And when he gets out the car, he kind of starts stumbling around and you know, he stumbled into a jog and then he started running, you know, and I'm after what I seen, I just couldn't allow him to get away with this. So Carmichael and a group of other neighbors ran after the driver and kept an eye on him until authorities could arrest him. The driver's girlfriend, Luz Lena Soria Rosales, in the front seat, just turned 18 the day before the crash. She died on impact, ejected from the car. The driver's friend, Oscar Santos Ferrella died in the back seat. Police say the driver was under the influence. He didn't have accountability. He didn't have loyalty to his friend. He didn't have respect for his friend, for you know the girl that was sitting next to him. Um, I don't know what he was thinking. Retired Sergeant Jose Suarez grew up with Oscar. He said Oscar was on the phone just before the crash and his last moments were chaotic something along the lines of slow down, you know, like calm down, like you're going too fast. It sucks, you know, because you know that that deep down inside, he probably knew that his life was in danger. We are awaiting confirmation on the identity of that driver today from police. And also, Jose said Oscar, one of the victims, his mother just passed away three months ago. So now this family is mourning both her loss and the loss of this young man. For any updates as we await the uh, information about that driver and any charges he may face, stay tuned to KTLA.com. In Jefferson Park, Samantha Cortese, back to you. All right, Samantha, thank you. Terrifying.